Amen. And we say thank you, Lord. Oh.
two year old the other day, we had a, a, a wife had a, a, a cousin to um, accidentally pass away. He was involved in an accident and they buried him on today. And so um, that's where she is, all right? So please keep the family in prayer. We went there last night to visit the house and it's just a sober, amen, atmosphere, amen. We know that God doesn't make mistakes, but that don't always feel good when things happen. Amen? Amen. Amen. So please keep that family in prayer with the author family. Amen. His mom and his dad, he's the only child. Amen. He was only 24. He was only 24. So please keep them in prayer. To those who are bereavement, please keep them in prayer. Amen. Because it could be us. Amen. We don't know when death will knock on our door. Amen. And so the same, you know, compassion we want others to have for us, that's what we ought to give to them. Amen? Amen. amen. So as we, when we move forward in service, amen, I'm, uh, the poor has the microphone, so when you want to give a praise or testimony, just lift your hand and she'll pass you the mic. Amen? Because we want to hear what God has done. Amen? We want to celebrate what God is doing in your life. Amen? amen? Because if I can celebrate you in your time of triumph, guess what? Mine is right around the corner. Amen? He's on my doorstep. Amen? Amen, amen. Come on, praise me. Let's let this song, amen. And then after we, 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 we get the song, amen, then we, we, we have a praise testimony, amen. Just do so at that time, amen. Amen, amen, amen. You have a praise testimony, you want to give it now, you can, amen, while we get situated, amen. <laughs>
here in this room. We look forward to you making this your own worship. At this time, we will turn it over to Bishop for further announcements. Let's give the Lord a break.
that we're fighting. We must understand that we don't fight it physically, amen? But this fight, fight is spiritually, amen? So I need you all to get on your weapons, amen? Get the praying, get the fasting, get to doing what you're doing. And ask the Lord today as we say this song to fight this battle for us because it ain't about us, praise God, but it's all about Him. Hallelujah. Let your power.
about the suffering that he went through and how God gave Job double for his trouble. But on the other hand, we also think about the friends that Job had. Anybody else thought about that? You 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 focus so you know you think about all that he's 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 he went through, but God at the end gave him double for what he went through. But in the midst of that, chapters 4 through 23. Job was visited with his friends. And the uh, the book of Job, if I could give you some history of it just briefly, the book of Job, many people turn to it in the times of suffering. When they are going through something, they turn to it. And it is a great lesson for us, all of us, to know that, that it is in God that we put our trust. And if we put our trust in God, that he'll never let us stop. In the church say amen. amen. Even when we don't understand what we're going through, we've got to understand that it's working for our good. <laughs> Job, beloved, teaches us that God does not need us to understand and he does not owe us any explanation for his actions. We learn, we must learn, beloved, to put our trust in God and always allow him to work in our lives regardless to our understanding of the circumstances. That's why at the end of the day we'll give the benediction we say that may God gives us peace that surpasses all understanding. Meaning all of what I know and all of what I don't know, God just break my mind peace so that I can sleep tonight. Lord, it ain't up for me to know everything that you do Because everybody we call friends ain't from it. 
amen walks. The Bible just gets some help this morning. I promise I'll move you out the way, amen. <laughs> Everybody we call friend ain't friend. But brother, we gotta understand that people are placed in our lives for a reason, for a season, and we're lucky if they'll be in our lives for a lifetime. Uh, we must, we must be wise enough, beloved, to be able to identify and place people in those categories so that when the time comes that they flip out on us or when things happen and they, they act unseemly and they cause us and charge us and all this kind of stuff that friends sometimes may do, we won't be disappointed by what we receive from them. But I've learned that there are three categories of people. There are associates, those who we associate with more so from a professional aspect, meaning those who I know at work, but you don't really know me. You just see me at work. Amen. Amen. And then we have acquaintances. Acquaintances is someone I have met. However, you don't really know me. You don't know all about me. You just see me in past. <laughs> you know my name, but you don't know my story. Not acquaintances. And then the mother, we have friends. I think the baby is rooting me on back there. Praise God. Amen. We have friends. Friends may not be blood related, but you're the beloved. They have love for one another. Most times our friends, they, they, they become family. We call them brother. We call them sister. The Bible says that a friend loveth at all times. But a brother is born through adversity. That tells me that my friends will be around, but it's that brother, that person that I call my brother or sister was there when no one else was. In our text, beloved, we see that Job's friends did at least three things right that I want to show you today. Job 2, verse 11 to 13. First of all, beloved, we can see that they came to him when he was suffering. I had someone and so many people to tell me that I got your back. How many of y'all can say that you've had friends that say, I got your back? I got you, dog. You were good, you know? I got you. But whenever time came for suffering, there was no way to be found. But brother, here it is that what if my suffering is due to something that I did? Can we talk about it just for a moment? Will your friends still have your back? When you was wrong, they know you were wrong, and you knew you were wrong. Will they still be there to support? Beloved, it's cool to have friends when everything is all right. When we all can just hang out and chill and everything's good and everything's dandy. Can I just talk about it this morning? Huh? It's all right to have these friends. You know, we good here. You know, we good, we good. But what about when all hell breaks loose? Yeah. 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 What about when I need some money? Yeah. That's where you really see who your friend is then. <laughs> The 
by chance if you have someone who when they go through, they'll be there for you. Or you be there, you've been there for them. But when you're going through, you can't find them. Amen. Beloved, I highly suggest that you put a star by that person's name. Amen. I learned, beloved, that I had to cross some people out. Huh? Amen. Come on, can we can we be honest here? Amen. We've talked about this before because we all are many, we are one body. Amen. But we all are many members in that one body. Amen. And the one thing that I need to know is that if the arm is cutting up, will the head still be there for the arm? If the head is showing out, will the arm still be there to get the head? What is wrong with you? I know you know better. You better stop that. Where you been at? Where you be at? Second thing, beloved, that I believe that his friends got right was that they emphasized, they empathized with him. Verse 12 says that they begin to wept a lot. And they tore, they tore their rooms and sprinkled dust on their heads. The Bible says that they entered into his situation. They too had not done nothing wrong. They too was wondering what Job had did, the reason why we were even here in the first place. But yet they were able to enter into the situation with him. They cried as he cried. They tore their clothes as a symbol of mourning as he did. Beloved, a friend just don't stand at a distance while you're going through. Amen. But a friend says, not that a friend, listen now, and a friend just don't say, I'm praying for you while you're going through. But a friend shows up. Yeah, we 
people say, you looking at your situation, and then they looking at your situation, and they crying more about your situation than you are. Instead of having an encouraging word about what you're doing, or perhaps maybe you haven't had a friend who, who now all of a sudden they say you acting shady because things have changed, baby. My mindset is different. I ain't about all that stuff no more.
with you. His friends. Friends should come. Friends should emphasize. And also friends should spend time with you. I don't understand how people can call themselves friends sometimes and they don't spend time with one another. How do you know about me if you don't take time to spend time with me? So 